Greg Packer set up his campsite outside New York's Fifth Avenue Apple Store at 5 a.m. Monday morning, five days early. I believe, and I'm here to make the case, that we're letting it take us places that we don't want to go. They don't think I'm crazy. Are, are you? I think so, yeah. A little crazy. I'm a little crazy, yeah. The new version of the iPhone, why do people want that? Yeah, that is a status symbol. A world where status matters and you can belong if you've got the latest product. There's some kind of marketing genius that stimulated and aroused some kind of primitive thing in people. Now, is it digital technology that's causing this problem, or maybe some of us already have this problem and we're just attracted to digital technology? I think it's a little of both, but I think really it's the latter. I think that the technology itself is exacerbating problems that we have, but also creating problems for us. And that's the composite. My feeling is that we all feel f***ed up. That like something chaotic and crazy is going on in the back of our minds and things are going haywire like never before. I think the, the way that smartphones influence people's social life is it becomes a buffer between them and society. So what are some of the other psychiatric disorders that you connect to eye technology? Well, there's quite a few. Um, my favorites and the ones I think that are most interesting are obsessive compulsive disorder and social phobia. And one of the things that, that uh, some of the researchers are saying now is that it's, it's not necessarily an addiction. You hear people say he's addicted to his cell phone. From a mental health perspective, it's more like obsessive compulsive disorder. What we see with, particularly with young kids, with teenagers and even young adults, is they are literally acting like they have OCD. They cannot go to dinner without having the phone out on the table. If they get a text, they almost like Pavlov's dogs, they almost salivate and have to answer it immediately. So these kinds of technologies are encouraging us to exhibit these signs of obsessive compulsive disorder. Same thing with social phobia though. Take Kyle Stoneman who acts like he just won a prize. Just bought it, it's right here. When he really spent nearly a thousand dollars. I feel like I'm obsessed a little bit. One of the issues that happens from that is, and I see that with some students here, is they're not learning social skills. They're not really learning how to, how to interact with people on a basic way. You know, to, to look you in the eye when I'm talking to you. People are losing that skill. How to express themselves verbally, they're losing some of that skill too.